Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm just so focused and immersed in this book, and not the one I'm holding. Now you're asking, Jim, how does that make any sense? Well, to tell you the truth, I can't read. All words look like hieroglyphics to me, and that's why I use Audible to have some guy do the reading for me. That's right, audiobooks of the future. I can't tell you how many times I've brought a book home and never picked it up again because there's words on it. Now, I can do whatever while someone verbally tells me how to be rich, or tells a story about a couple of small guys run into a volcano, or even a Ray Bradbury classic about how physical books are banned and burned. That one's my favorite. There's countless things to choose from. There's something for everyone. I know a lot of you guys feel off if you're not sweating all over your keyboard and, and getting max XP gains, so reading isn't in your agenda. Well, through the power of Audible, you can still be a sweaty nerd, but this time, you're actually learning things in the background. Slowly becoming a member of society, kind of. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Visit audible.com slash jimmy or text J1MMY to 500-500 and get a 30-day free trial plus a free book. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's episode of By Release. That's all I've got. Hope you guys enjoy. It's been a while since we've given the gnomes a visit, real quirky bunch. And don't worry, I'm pretty sure gnome is not a derogatory term yet, this is pretty POC. Last time we were here, we stopped Gluff's secret plot to start a world war. We ran around Ape Atoll for a couple hours and took out his pet dog or whatever the hell that thing was. And now we're back, it's August 15th, 2006. We're starting the next quest in the gnome series, The Eyes of Gluffery. It's pronounced Gluffery, you can blow me. Heading into this cave looking for a dude named Brimstail. There he is. I just asked him what's going on with that fucking Neopet thing in the corner. Corner. He has no idea, just says it's a cute little thing and he's keeping it. I'm sure it's not a plot device. He's giving me a history lesson about an ancient no mage guy, Gluffery. His name's in the quiz. He's got a bad rep. His name is Slandered. I don't really know why he's telling me this, but Brimstail is fascinated by it. Now he wants me to go look around the cave, so here I go. That is a fake plant. I can spot it a mile away. I don't know what this is. Looks boring. A bowl? Dumb color cubes. Thank you. I loved that. He wants me to go visit Hazelmere and ask him about the machine, since apparently he's the only gnome alive that knew the guy Oaknock who made it. Last time I was here, I did not understand him, and this time, I still do not understand him. And now he's striking me with lightning. Good. Oh, we're speaking telepathically now. This is the second quest in a row where someone has infiltrated my mind and knows every thought going through my head. I hate this. That is not what I'm thinking about at all. He's gonna give me some visuals of gnome history. We got big ass turtle and three gnomes. That's Hazelmere. There's the bad guy Gluffrey. And there's Oaknock. Alright, good. Look at Look at them go. He's telling me about this old spirit tree, Argento. There he is. Ah, ah Argento, no, what happened? Someone hid the murder of the tree, so Oknok made an anti-illusion machine to reveal it. Gluffrey was the one who hid it. The king banished him, and there's been nothing but rumors since then. Wow, that was very insightful. He knows what I've been thinking about the whole time, though, so I feel very weird. I'm gonna leave. All right, we're back, and cutscene. Good. Wait a second, there's a ghost guy, and he looks a lot like Gluff, the lead antagonist of Hit Master Rune escape quest monkey madness. What is he doing here? Ghost guy who's probably Gluff. What are you doing? Ghost guy Gluff, no! Well, that guy's got some fucking issues. We're trying to figure this out. I mean, I could dive deep into this, but I mean, the guy looked like Gluff, so I'm gonna stick to, to that. Need something fixed. Introducing magic glue. Just slap it on anything and then hit it as hard as you can with a hammer. It'll be good as new. All right, so to unlock the machine, I've got to do this thing with these shapes that hurts my head to explain, so I'll put it like this. I'm gonna exploit the drop trick mechanic to brute force as many combinations of these little shapes as possible to guarantee myself the combination of shapes I need to unlock that machine. Hello, I am back. I did it. Aw, look, Brimstale's doing a happy little dance because I'm awesome. And that is a fucking spider. I am going to kill that. Yeah, so these cute little creatures roaming around the gnome stronghold are actually scary spider spies, so I'm gonna become a goddamn spider assassin. <laughs> See? Hey, King, watch this. Eat shit. Back in spider. Boop. I hit a zero. Okay. Hey, King Narnode, I just saved this entire place for the third time now, I think. Uh, I don't know what kind of unpaid internship you think this is, but I'd like some compensation here at some point. Oh, rune crafting XP. I'll, I'll take that. And a crystal seed thing. I just told Kevin I was doing this quest. He wants to talk to me about a problem he has with the trees here. So how come they fucking hollowed that one out, but like, they talk to the other one like everything's fine. Like, oh, hey, Darren. What do you think about your old buddy Steve up there? <laughs> he just made a coat hanger out of him. The green tree? Yeah. Look at Darren. Why do you think he's fucking just sitting there? He's like, I know my life is meaningless. They're going to make a wooden bench out of me someday. Oh my God. He's like, dude, this spot's fucking awesome. What do I have to the last guy? <laughs> You're going to tell me that guy's not just sitting there going...
I know what's coming. Well, someone put the statue back. What is that? We're gonna mix this C with the bow. Give us a saw, baby. I sing a beautiful song. I'm the last guy to be singing any song. The next quest is number 111, Darkness of Hollow Vale, released on September 4th, 2006. I have not had to do this for a quest in quite a while, but holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be in the top three for biggest snooze fest in the game. I'm gonna just run you through what happens here because most of this quest is just running, running, and more fucking running. The last vampire quest was 10 quests ago and we helped restore Berg to Rot and found a new base for the Myrkey, which by the way, has a more debated pronunciation than Ardugan. But anyway, back to business. Veliof wanted me to help him find a way into the Sanguini region or some shit to contact the Meyerkey there. I fixed a boat up nearby and went around the walls and landed on a beach outside Meyer Ditch. That's the scary vampire town. When I got there, I talked to a dude named Old Man Ral, who looks a lot like the Slender Man. <laughs> No, no, but he, uh, he has vampires forcibly draining his blood from his semi-lifeless body on a daily basis, so he's not really getting the nourishment he needs. He told me if I followed the sickles on the walls of buildings for 15 minutes, it'd lead me to their hideout. So I Ezio'd around the buildings and ended up at the hideout. When I got there, I talked to an angry anime character looking dude, Vertida, and told him I wanted to help out. He told me to take this letter all the way back to Velioff, so I went and fucked myself. Velioff told me to go persuade the King of Varrock to start God Wars 3 by invading Meyer Ditch to help their cause. Sure, why not? But first, I checked in with Drezzle. He was hearing strange noises, so I went to check it out. I found a body in a bush. As I got closer, two dogs wearing hoods assaulted me and knocked me out. Lucky for me, I was too fucking fat to carry, apparently, since they left me out there unconscious. Drezzle seemed a, a little too happy about that. I mean, look at his face. Why, why is he why is he making that face at me? So then I headed to the king. I almost convinced him to invade and start absolute chaos across the entire world, dooming the next six generations of children, depriving any and all forms of happiness or peace. But the robed guy next to him said no, so that was kind of messed up, but uh, he did have the courtesy to teleport me back to Drezzle, so that was cool. I headed all the way back to Velioff. He told me to go back to the other guys. I fucked off, went there. He told me to go talk to their leader, Safalon, who was scouting the Vampire HQ. So I put myself in the most dangerous position possible and found him. I updated him on the entire situation, and in return, he made me do this job for him. I started sketching pictures of the castle on pieces of paper. Where the fuck did I learn to draw like that? I watched the main battle. Bad guys have an epilepsy or mouth orgy together. I don't know what that was. I kept drawing, but oh, look at that. I ended up getting caught as I stood clueless on top of the walls next to the most important and heavily guarded building there. I tanked a few hits from the bad guy before someone's secretary swooped in and saved me. I am heroic. I ran another 10 minutes to a building, found a note and a key. I told the leader I got caught doing his job and somehow survived. He was like, okay. I found some clues and discovered a secret lab that had a book. I pretended that I couldn't read so I didn't have to read it. I went back and gave it to the leader guy. He was like, cool. And he gave me a message to take to Velioff. It was sealed, so I could not read it. I gave it to Velioff. He did not tell me what it said, but he said I could go on a lunch break. So I guess I can't complain. And that was the quest. That's it. That that was what happened. Nothing exciting. A lot of errand running. Fuck these guys. It's about time we gave the White Knights a visit. September 20th, 2006. Quest 112. Slug Menace. Last time we were here... You know, I actually just realized every quest today has been the continuation of quests we've already done. I'm not even gonna recap this one. I'm gonna force you to go watch what happened last time. I don't even remember what episode it was either, so you're just gonna have to binge this entire series until you find it. I'll let you start at episode 12. All right, certification. Good to see you. I always picture this dude to have Mod Ash's voice and his dialogue gets so much better. I've got a new mission. I'm heading to Ardoin and going to Witchhaven. I'm meeting up with a dude named Cole O'Neill. Colonel. Colonel. He's a retired Temple Knight and he's gonna brief me, so let's get after it. Just arrived to Witchhaven, spotted Colonel on a rocking chair by himself. He's insisting I call him Jake. The mayor of this shithole's been acting sketch and made an announcement that he's gonna be renovating the shrine in town. He's been collecting a lot of supplies like he's got some evil project going on. It's like buying a certain assortment of things from Walmart and being put on a list. A lot of villagers are disappearing and then coming back dazed and confused. You sure they're not just getting drunk? <laughs> okay. You guys remember Holgard. This is the guy that brought me the fishing platform and we did it with- Oh, hey, no old episodes, no recaps. Holgard's telling me the mayor started a new no sailing law, so he can't sail. Brother Maledict, you're up. He said people have suddenly stopped coming to church, and that's very unlike them, it's very weird. I know that may seem out of ordinary to you, but it's probably cause going to church fucking sucks. Okay, mayor, you disgusting pasty neckbeard, what's the meaning of all these fucky things going on around here? This dude looks like one of those jokers that gets you all diseased and, and gross. He keeps saying things about the shrine to the west and he's gonna rebuild it and he's got a lot of work to do. I don't know. He's very out of it. <gasps> Savant! Golly gee, it's so good to see you again. I wonder how many random names and words I can mispronounce before you all lose your minds. She wants me to scan the mayor. I'm right in front of him. Is he gonna- is he gonna care if I- I don't know what he's gonna say if I just gonna- fuck it. This is my ball!
Do you like it? <laughs> Savin's saying she's detecting two life forms when scanning him. Oh my god. He's got another person in that suit with him. He's not that tall. He's trying to fool everybody. He's on the shoulders. There's one guy that has his legs in the pants and the other's on the shoulders. He's- holy shit. Jack, I'm back with intel. The mayor is not as tall as you think. What the fuck happened to your boat? I'm gonna investigate the little shrine area over here. See if I find anything quirky. Sweet Christ, a torture rack. So you're the sick son of a bitch behind all this. Okay, that's probably just a hobgoblin. Hey, look, a wall door. Whoa, there's green lobsters. I'm not going near those bad boys. Ooh, some cool doors and a dead sea slug. I'm gonna pick it up for fun. Savin did not like that. I guess these symbols on the door have to be translated, so we're gonna head to the outpost and talk to our old pal Joral. I understand you're somewhat of a historian. Am I being sarcastic to this guy? We go way back. I'm very busy. My services don't come cheap. Okay, Joral, I wasn't gonna do any callbacks to past episodes, but I literally restored this outpost for you. I helped you grant your grandfather's dying wish. Does that not ring a bell to you? What the fuck? This guy has no recollection of who I am. So the temple of Sarah Daman trapped this thing called Mother Malam in a mystical prison. I'm guessing that's what the door was that we saw. We're gonna repair or reinforce it before she escapes because clearly she's on her way out or something and everything's going to shit. So back to Witchhaven. Jason, I've got bad news. The two-man shoulder suit trick isn't the only thing the mayor's hiding. I'm gonna talk to the priest to see if he knows anything about this Sarah Daman prison. Oh, fuck off. He's telling me I need to find three pages about the shrine that went missing. I was gonna steal from the mayor anyway, so yeah, here's one page. Someone pushed the page I need under this guy's door right before I got here, so that is oddly convenient for the plot. Oh no, they got Joe. He's all yellow now. He just handed me the last page I needed, so something very weird is happening here, clearly. I'm gonna head to the fishing platform to talk to that one dude. Apparently he can make some glue out of sea slugs. We're just gluing shit back together today. I brought the supplies, so Bailey's got me covered. Whoa, Bailey, why did what was that? Really? Why did you just- I, I should- I should go. I gotta- I gotta go. Putting this thing back together real quick, then I'm set. These pages are telling me about a process of making special runes which operate that magic door. So I'm gonna go make those. Here's the air rune, fire rune, earth guy, mind rune- uh, it, it broke. I gotta make another one. I just broke it again. Mind rune and water rune. Let's head back to the door. Gonna shove them all in. I'm awesome. And the doors are opening. I do not- oh no, it's the mayor. He knows I know. Just realized he's some fish guy now. I don't think I had the- right secret about him. I helped him with his master plan. All right, let's see what I did. Oh, good. I made that thing. This is the last thing I'll ever see. You think this level 62 thing is the last thing I'll ever see? How good do you think 62 combat is? I will literally punch this thing to death, Mare. You gotta think these things through. Oh. I guess I do that now. Uh-oh. Mother Malum's here. What's going on? I have great potential. Thank you. Savin, this lady thing is trying to morph me and her in some weird slug sex ritual. It, it'll it basically kill me forever. Uh, do you mind if we teleport out and leave? Okay, thank you. <sighs> Tiffy. Tiffy, you'll never guess what I discovered. Mayor Hobbs was never a mayor, nor was he a two-man suit guy, but a fish. He was a fish this whole time. Hey, quest complete. And a promotion. Pay raises. Promotions. This is how quests should end. Awesome. Uh, so anyway, Tiffy, I guess now I should mention there's a fucking slug mom thing on the loose. She can take over the world in like five minutes with how powerful she is. She already has a whole city under mind control, but I mean, I'm sure it's not a big deal. All right, take it easy. Yeah, so I'm sure all of you know the deep lore of this next quest, the one released on October 2nd, 2006, Elemental Workshop 2. Yeah, you know, the lore about the mysterious elemental ore that's so unbelievably epic that no one fucking uses it, unless they're too poor to afford a better shield when killing wyverns, which is also me. I'm gonna summarize this one too, because I know you're all sleep deprived anyway, so I'm not taking any chances. I went to the dig site, found another book about the fifth age ores, I went back to where we did the first elemental workshop. This time I found a key and went down this hole. This place is just a giant conveyor belt used to make elemental bars. Killed three rock guys for ores, smelted them into bars, made a claw to fix the grabby thing downstairs. I fixed this huge blow dryer. I put my purple bar in the belt, dipped it in lava, smashed it into a pancake, drowned it in water, and then dried it off so I could pick it up. Now I can make it into a mine bar and a mine helmet to finish the quest. But I'm one of those idiots that needs a shield to fight wyverns at some point, so I sent another one through the entire process. I'm the best. I went down one more level and went into a room with a mind rune symbol on the door. The only way to make these into elemental mine bars is to strap myself into this electric chair that looks like it was stolen from a prison. I gotta be honest, I don't really know what it does or how it does it, but it, it does something to me. I'm sure it's fine. The mind shield wasn't gonna make itself, so. I got electrocuted. I didn't die, but I shaved at least four years off my lifespan. I did it one more time. I made the helmet, and I completed the quest. I came back, and I made the shield. And finally, I'm very excited to announce Elemental Workshop 3 and 4 have not been put into old school yet, so we can abandon this place forever, hopefully. Please, God, developers, do not make me come down here again. 
So this is gonna piss somebody off. Been doing a little cleanup around this village and I've gotten myself a gout tuber. You may be saying, wow, Jim, that's a great accomplishment. How long did it take you? This is my second bush. I have 4% favor. Uh-oh, what's that? Oh, another one? And I only have 61%? Yeah, I'll take another gout tuber. Thank you, thank you for your offering. This is so easy. You guys just have to get the gout tubers. I don't understand why you guys grind so long for these things. I need super compost for this quest, so I'm figuring out how to make those. I got this compost potion as a reward for the Garden of Tranquility. You can use one dose on an entire full compost bin, and you can get a full bin of super compost. If you have a normal account, you can make these, but I have no idea how people got these in 2005. The only way I could see you could get one was through Garden of Tranquility. But I've got super compost now, so we can go start the quest. If you ever see me have these little data orbs up here, it's because I was using the map, and as much as I love opening a full res runescape map on my browser, sometimes this is just a little easier. So shut your mouth, you didn't see anything. And if my Iron Man symbol's ever green, it's because of my other hit series, the Duo Iron Man Journey 007. You can go watch that after this. But right now, we are starting one of my favorite quests in the entire game. Mark opened the document while I was still typing and found that I now named the troll. I'd named him my arm and I'd named the quest My Arms Big Adventure. And across the office, I swear, Mark suddenly bellows, Oh my god, it sounds like wanking! I'm approving this! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mod Ash wrote and developed this entire quest himself, and goddamn, it's a good one. It's October 23rd, 2006. We're heading back to Troll Stronghold and starting up quest number 114, My Arms Big Adventure. There's Burnt Meat. You guys remember him, right? I mean, you know what you have to do if you don't remember. I've been thinking about you. Oh, goddamn. He's mind-blown that humans can grow gout weed. And I have those pants. I want those other things though. God dang, they look good. This guy's telling him where and how to grow gout weed. He's very thankful, but he's gonna cook him anyway? Do you think that dude respawns in Lumbridge or is he like dead, dead? Burmeat's got an assistant named My Arm. We're gonna be helping him out today. He said if we help him learn to grow gout weed, he promises to never cook a human again. Like I'm supposed to care about what he does in his free time. I'm asking if I can have all the dragon shit the dude dropped. I really don't know when to stop talking sometimes. This is My Arm. He got his name by trying to eat his his dad's arm when he was a baby, and no one thinks it's a silly name? I've seen worse. Most humans come through here. They got names with numbers and things what aren't even words. I have to go to Death Plateau and steal some gout tuber lumps from the guys on top of it, so off I go. Alright, we're here. I'm just gonna dip my disgusting hands right on in there. And I got it. Here you go, arm guy. He has eaten the gout weedy lump. Okay, so now that we know it's possible to grow this stuff, we're gonna try to grow it on the mountain, and he's gonna show me to the farming area. Hurry up by release. Holy shit, it's my common section. I really like this following NPC mechanic. And they're like talking to me while we're walking. I wish they did this more. This is cool. So my arm ate a farmer who had a farming book on him. He's giving it to me so I can read it and hopefully learn how to grow things up in this shitty place. Three buckets of rancid camel shit and seven buckets of super compost. Amazing. Thank God for the tool leprechaun. He's a good guy. Okay, I just made the patch up here. We're gonna go get a special kind of gout tuber from the Karumja village guys and try to grow it up here. Okay, we just teleported here. That's convenient. Did we walk that entire way? What the fuck? This is my arm. We'd like to go to Karumja. This is your what? He's a troll. His name is my arm. Yep, my arm. Whose arm? Never mind that. We just want to- It was my dad's arm. What about your dad's arm? My arm tried to eat it. Your arm did what? Jesus Christ. My arm is thinking. My arm not liking this. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first time thinking. At some point last year. Never again. Are we there yet? Uh, no, but that might be a tsunami. I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, we're gonna sail right into it, and whatever happens, happens. And here we are. My arm. I'm feeling sick. We meet at that village. Yeah. I mean, that's fine, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Mersali here isn't being too cooperative about the special gout tuber we need, but I'm guilt tripping him since I have 89% favor, which means I'm a really, really good guy and he needs me. So he's basically forced to do what I want him to do. Oh God, why? He's trying to get a gout tuber the old fashioned way. And he's asking a brutal guy for gout weed. What an idiot. Oh, wow. Prepare to die. Uh, maybe don't say that to him. I like how I've made no effort to stop this yet. I'm just in the back somewhere reminiscing on my gout tuber RNG from earlier. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, cool. Mercedes giving us more gout tubers to grow since, you know, we almost destroyed the whole village. You know, we basically robbed them and threatened them all with their lives. I'm also probably banished from that place forever, but you know, it was effective. I'm fine with that. We're back in Ardoin. He's telling me to bank and get ready for a fight against some birds. So I guess I'll gear up. We're back up here. I'm ready to go. We're going to try to teach my arm how to farm. All right, take this rake and rake the grass. Just back and forth. The whole, wow, you fucking idiot. Let's try that again. And this time just, just rake the fucking grass. Go 
good. Now plant the seeds. Oh, you're so good at this. And you're getting a random event. I did not think that could happen. I'm very confused. Okay, so you're gonna click on him and talk to him. He's just gonna give you some free food. Oh my fuck. He just... Wow. Okay, well, guess uh, we're not getting the Drunken Dwarf event anymore. Unnamed Troll Child. Oh no, he's gonna be named Drunken Dwarf or something now. Ah, uh, it's diseased. Arm, um, take a bite of that stuff. Tell me what it tastes like. I already cured it. So far, so good. Uh-oh. It's a little bird. It's time to hunt. Yeah, I'm the best. Here we go. The classic, that was just a baby trick. This is the real bird. A lot scarier than the first one. Yeah, so fun fact, this monster is actually the first ever NPC program to inflict area of effect damage. Mod Ash wanted to implement a concept where a big bolt would be thrown at you, and you could dodge it if you moved in time. This big ass bird was actually the alpha tester of one of the most important mechanics in the game when it comes to bossing. It's kind of cool, is all I'm saying. This thing keeps tossing me around. I don't even know if the protect from missiles is doing anything. I'm just chilling. I'm eating. We're good. Aw, oh, see you later, bird. Thanks for playing. Now my arm knows how to grow this shit. He's all set. He said to go get a reward from burnt meat, and if it's not good enough, I can come back to him. Yep, this dude just gave me a bunch of burnt meat. Wow, it's crazy. And there we go. 10k herb XP, 5k farming XP, and a disease free herb patch. God. God damn, nice awesome. Definitely one of my favorite quests. It's very enjoyable. Mod Ash, you're a gem. You can just tell throughout the quest how creative Mod Ash is with the, the little details throughout the entire thing. Just makes you appreciate it. All right, there's one more thing I gotta see. Let's see the attention to detail. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh my God. That's fucking awesome. It was a good day for questing. Let's get out of here.